Hey, what's up everyone? Mori Croson here, and today we're going to be breaking down Shelly and Fraser Price's 1066, and we're going to start the video right now. This is the newest edition of the Performance Lab. Reach your individual goals. You don't want to just talk about straight line speed. We also want to talk about your ability quick. We break down your video. Let's make you into the quarterback I know you can become. All right, so this was probably from yesterday. I'm going to be posting this in the morning. And Shelly Ann Fraser Price, 1066, really impressive. The announcers talk about how she is 35 years old, has had a baby already, and is still running the fastest times in the world. 1066 is the fastest of the year. Uh, there's the fastest before that was her with the 1067. And so uh, here she is, and we got two different uh, views here, but we got her right here, uh, lane five. Right, and when we see the start, it, it, she didn't actually look like she had a great start here. The second step wasn't an amazing uh, overall step, but she is just so professional in how she's able to run. So even when she doesn't have necessarily a great step, was able to still maintain her cool, still stay with her uh, typical movement patterns. You know, didn't panic, didn't get uh, tightened up or anything like that. Was able to still reach and do a great job of recovering and ended up still being able to separate and, and run a great time. I think she could have even ran faster with a better second step, right? Because she just ended up being really low with the heels, kind of uncommon uh, for her overall. But but we could see like her compared to, uh, you know, Leah Hobbs in terms of how she's able to come right through. Leah Hobbs ends up going a little bit higher with her spine, it's definitely taller, but She's way more comfortable, and Shelly Ann Fraser Price is way more comfortable in coming straight forward and through with her legs, right? She's coming more inside with those legs, where Lee Hobbs ends up having to go a little bit more off to the side. She still does a good job overall in being able to come straight through. I see a lot of people that make the mistake of like getting really wide with their knees when they're starting, and I think that really makes it so it's hard to be able to. Uh, have a good amount of distance per step, right? It kind of limits your distance per step when you are going wide with your knees. So you really want to be able to keep driving those knees straight forward and through. And really, Shelly Ann does a great job of coming through with the knees and a little bit off to the side with the feet. And I find that helps in being able to pull back and, and generate or get a little bit straighter in the leg when that ends up happening, right? Because really what's important here is we got to be able to build our hip height as fast as we can. You know, Leah Hobbs, Nisha, Nisha Terry, they're both doing a good job of getting their hips all the way up and through, right? I mean, Shelly Ann Fraser Price is really utilizes the gift of her being a little bit shorter to the best of her ability by being able to kind of sit back a little bit more and maintain a, a, a very forward lean as she's going through this start. So everybody else is, is having to kind of get more upright and having to get their hips through, get their spine up, where she's able to stay in this drive phase for a lot longer pe period of time because she's able to sit back in those hips a little bit more and pull. And that's really a testament to, again, not having a lot of height, right? Which then she utilizes to be able to maintain a very forward position in having such strong hamstrings, such strong glutes, such strong legs to be able to maintain such a strong pullback while also being able to uh, be in a very, very forward position. So when she's landing here, even though she's much more uh, forward in her posture than, let's say, Aaliyah Hobbs, you can see how her leg is, is fully straightened out where Aaliyah Hobbs is a lot more uh, kind of bent there. Right, and so that makes a big difference when it comes to getting into top speed um, and being able to maintain your, your drive phase, right? And then once you get into this position, really being in a, in a position where you can continue to uh, separate and really maintain top end speed, right? We, we always see, like, she's so great with her foot contact time, right? She's hitting the ground. We could say, uh, let's just say 0.76, and then it's off by 0.84, right? So 0.08, under 0.08, right? Or somewhere right in that 0.08, and it's just all because of how well she does it being able to cycle those legs, pull back, and is very, very strong within those feet. That's something that we're always doing here at the performance lab is always building the, the foot strength, 0.07 to 0.04. You know, that's, that's closer to 0.07 in terms of foot contact time. Right, because if you land and you don't have the strength within the feet, then there ends up being a lot of wobble, a lot of shift. We want to be able to be as forward as possible, right? Notice how she's very, very forward in where she's landing with her foot, right? She's not landing 
at all in her heels. She's not landing at all in the middle part of the foot. She's landing very, very forward. And then she has the strength and the stability within that ankle, within that foot to be able to catch herself and transition right back off the ground. And that ends up being the critical thing. There's a lot of people that are fast and have a, lot, and a wide variety of sports and all of them have some of these basic fundamentals that you have to be able to create for yourself, which is landing with that foot as close to underneath your hip as possible, being at the front third of your foot really more towards the toe than towards the, the heel or towards the middle of the foot, and being able to very, very quickly stabilize when your foot hits the ground and then be able to transition right back off. And, and, and then being able to do that while creating a lot of force into the ground, right? We can't do a, we don't wanna be running and pulling and, and really being forward in, in our position with our body and not end, end up generating a lot of force in the ground. Even though she's maintaining a very forward position, she is still right here pulling herself back with a lot of force, right? There's a lot of force that's striking the ground right there, which is what makes it so she's able to generate or, or pick up a lot of distance per step, right? For her height, she is really, really good in how many steps she takes. I mean, I didn't count exactly how many steps she takes here, but just in general, just because she's running really fast, she's doing really good for uh, how many steps she takes in the hundred, right? If we looked at other people that were, you know, around her height, what is she like five foot, right? If we looked at other people around her height, they're probably uh, taking in the mid to high sixties in terms of, terms of steps, right? And she's probably in like the fifties somewhere, maybe mid fifties uh, would be my guess. Hard to be able to know for sure. Uh, but that would be, that would be my guess is, is, is mid fifties, maybe high fifties. Uh, but still again, five foot, and even if she took 60 steps, that right, would still be impressive based off of her height. But I would say probably people that are five foot running in the hundred are probably running it, or probably have a lot more than just 60 steps there. So uh, again, so yeah, huge respect to Shelly Ann Fraser Price here. Always love doing breakdowns on her. We have a ton of videos that we've done on her in the past. You guys can check those out in our playlist. Uh, as always, if you like the information, click that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. That really helps us out a ton. And we will be doing a video for the men's 100 as well. It's just that Shelly Ann Fraser Price ended up kind of stealing the day by getting the world's fastest time, 1066. So had to do her first. Huge respect to her also being 35 and still being the fastest woman in the world. But there are a lot of Americans that are on the rise. So I'm excited for you know some of these top women that are doing really really good uh, as well so uh, again thanks for watching the video guys like subscribe talk to you soon check out the description as well if you want to learn a little bit more about what we do and how we can help you in your own individual sprinting